Yo, what's up guys, it's Ryan, and we're back with this uh, experimental track. It's been about a month actually since last time I worked on it, um, but I think it was a uh, much needed break. Um, I was just, these types of tracks are so involved, like mentally, that it's just tiring to do it like day after day, I guess. Um, so this is what we've got so far. So that's what we've got so far. Um, one of the first things that I noticed was uh, the kick felt incredibly overpowering. Um, so I'm going to take a look at that first. And they, that it's not compressed. That might actually just be it, <laughs> honestly. Turn it down a little. That's actually much better. Um, sweet, that was easy. So there was something in the fill over here. These were a little loud. Yeah, something like that. Maybe a little louder. Um, all right, and then I was wanting to move on, work on this section of the track. So this is what we've got so far in there. So if we have like a What's this? All right, so I'm thinking maybe um, bell thing. Record this part out. Just let the recording complete. Um, bell thing bounce. And then also the marimba. And this, I think, is going to be cool. But obviously, we'll have to see in a second. <laughs> Yeah. 
something like that. And in my head, I'm thinking maybe it can cut off like right here. Um, I can deactivate these clips. And then down here, cut the loop as well. And then have some sort of reverse snare. I knew I had one somewhere. And then saving is, takes forever on this project now. Um, maybe down like an octave or something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so it verses into a this playing or maybe I actually just have the MIDI play something like that and then the sub will kick in right here I don't know if we have, or if I have any chords for this, that'll be interesting. Or I'll just copy the MIDI over and try to piece some chords together out of it. It's an E minor. So this is kind of like a G chord. Two. We can just call that B, I guess. To another G. And we can try D right here just to make it interesting. I think those were the same notes, B to D. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna make sure I'm recording real fast. Sweet. All right, and this kind of has like a like a trappy vibe, I guess. So then we could bring in this high pass kick again. Could double time it. See how that sounds. Do something like that. right here um here right there and I that's because this sound right here is a really loud um 
and it's also got like a lot of bass it, like so much so it just clipped everything um it's got a lot of bass and the bass is usually what has the sustain in it which is what's kind of um determining how long it's being sidechained so by taking the bass out or reducing it at least with this eq it is controlling this release of the compressor and what i should have done is i should have made each of these kicks something like that so it's just like a basically just enough to activate the compressor and then i could on the bases like tweak the release knob to make it exactly what I wanted, but I didn't do that. So I'm stuck with kind of uh, wrangling it to do what I want. All right, I need more for that transition, but I'll get that some other time. I'll go with that beat for now. Double all that. Grab. I'll grab six bars of the hat loop. Copy it. Duplicate it, duplicate it. Delete the back two. And this way it's kind of it comes in on a weird beat of the hat pattern that we had. And it's also an uneven looping, just to add some like weirdness to it. All right, um, this needs to get bigger, obviously. Can't just like cut everything out to nothing right here and not come in with like something massive so I'll just duplicate everything um, then add a Rhodes or take this sub bass just so I know the chords that I had I'll just use the Rhodes for right now rename this to marimba bounce Saving does take forever now, but I it's a good habit to have to save every four seconds, but when you get to a project this size, it's like it starts to lag a bit. So I can make some chords that fit the notes that are being played. So something like that. Sure. And then just like a inverted B minor over there. It got bounced for some reason. Um, there's nothing on it. So I feel like I'm safe to turn it back on if I want. So I think I need to swap out the drums with some bassier stuff. And that means I don't need this EQ at all. It's something like that's wrong. Yeah, I missed a bar. Someone's knocking on my door. Um, I'll be back, I guess.
Well, sorry about that. I go to the door and there's literally nobody there. Or like even close to my house. So I don't know what that's about. Hopefully I don't get murdered. Um, yeah, anyways. So that, that makes it hit a lot harder, having drums with actual bass in it. So maybe what I was, what I'm wanting is something like this. Like it just fades really hard in this bar. Maybe automate the reverb send amount. Something like that. Um, I want to do the same thing, but have this up an octave. And this doesn't really play at all. To look right there. Turn it down a little bit. And then the same thing over here. Octave. Something like that. Up. it down. For this one I might actually put some reverb on it. Low cut. Decay time up a little bit. Gets those whistle tones in there, I guess. I'm, I'm gonna call them that. <laughs> and uh, just kind of fills it out a little bit nicer. And I'll do something more like that. See how that transitions from this. So this I think needs to be more like that. thinking yeah that's basically I just like manually put in a ridiculously hard side chain is essentially what I just did with that
down just a little bit. And I don't have an EQ on it, so I'll just give it any low end at all. Um, something about it I don't, I'm not loving though. Another EQ that'll turn on. I think it's like the high pitch of it. Like right around there. I can have this EQ turn on for just just that one second. Slayer, maybe. Is that too loud over here? Just a little loud over here. Something like that. It's getting in the right direction, and then we'll probably go into like a riser, and then into a second drop, and the second drop will likely be nothing like the first one, except for maybe the same elements and instruments. Um, and then I have to make an intro and an outro. But an outro, an outro you don't really have to think about all the time. Um, so yeah, if you've got any questions about anything I did. Uh, Feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. We hit that yesterday, and it's it's awesome. It's only taken a year and a half, but I <laughs> I got there, so then that's pretty neat. So um yeah, thanks a bunch. Uh, hope you have an awesome day. Hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.